Wilson Brothers and Company was a prominent Victorian era architecture and engineering firm established in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, that was especially noted for its structural expertise. The brothers designed or contributed engineering work to hundreds of bridges, railroad stations, and industrial buildings, including the principal buildings at the 1876 Centennial Exposition. They also designed churches, hospitals, schools, hotels and private residences. Among their surviving major works are the Pennsylvania Railroad, connecting railway bridge over the Schuylkill River 1866 the main building of Drexel University 1888 and the train shed of Reading Terminal 1891 all in Philadelphia. Topic history The firm's founders were Joseph Miller Wilson 1838 architect and civil engineer, John Alston Wilson 1837 civil engineer, and Frederick Godfrey Thorne c. 1837 architect and civil engineer. Youngest brother Henry W. Wilson 1844-1910, civil engineer, joined the firm in 1886, and was promoted to partner in 1899. All three Wilson brothers attended Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in Troy, N.Y. Joseph also studied metallurgy at the University of Pennsylvania. Joseph worked in the construction department of the Pennsylvania Railroad PRR from 1860 to 1876, designing bridges and railroad structures, including several commuter stations on the main line. For a PRR subsidiary, he designed the Baltimore and Potomac Railroad Passenger Terminal in Washington, D.C. 1873-77, demolished 1908, the station in which U.S. President James A. Garfield was assassinated in 1881. The National Gallery of Art now occupies its site at 6th Street and Constitution Avenue on the National Mall. John did engineering work for several railroads, including the PRR and the Reading Railroad. Wilson Brothers and Company was founded on January 1, 1876. For the 1876 Centennial Exposition, Henry Petit and Joseph M. Wilson Co. designed the main exhibition building, the largest building in the world, 1,876 feet 572 meters in length and enclosing 21 to half an acre. The pair also designed Machinery Hall, and oversaw construction of the other principal buildings. Joseph Coe authored a three-volume history of the Philadelphia World's Fair, Joseph's Commission for Philadelphia's Presbyterian Hospital 1874, may be related to later work on Presbyterian churches, nursing homes and an orphanage. The firm's extensive work for financer Anthony J. Drexel, the city's wealthiest citizen and a Roman Catholic, may have led to subsequent commissions for convents and Catholic hospitals. In Philadelphia, the firm designed the headquarters for the Baldwin Locomotive Works pre-1885, demolished, and, in Beach Haven, N.J., the Baldwin Hotel 1883, burned 1960, Holy Innocents Episcopal Church 1881-82, and a number of summer homes for company executives. In 1881, the PRR hired the firm to design its main passenger terminal at Broad and Filbert Streets in Center City, Philadelphia, directly west of City Hall. This was one of the first steel-framed buildings in America to use masonry not as structure, but as a curtain wall, as skyscrapers do. The station was widely admired, 15% of the architects in an 1885 poll voted it one of the best 10 buildings in the United States. Eleven years later, the Wilson Brothers Gothic Revival Station was incorporated into Frank Furness's far larger Broad Street Station. The Wilsons designed its new train shed, at the time 1892, the largest single-span train shed in the world. 
In 1885, the Wilsons designed a high-ceilinged, two-story banking house for Drexel and Company, on the southeast corner of Fifth and Chestnut Streets in Philadelphia. Four years later, Drexel wished to expand, but Independence National Bank next door refused to sell. In response, Joseph Wilson designed the Drexel Building, a ten-story, H-shaped addition that surrounded Independence National Bank on the east, west and south sides, permanently depriving the neighbor of sunlight. The iron-skeletoned addition was built atop Drexel's banking house, and was one of the first examples of X bracing. One of the buildings demolished for this was Library Hall, the Library Company of Philadelphia's headquarters, that had been designed by William Thornton In an ironic turn of events, the Drexel Building itself was demolished in 1959, and a replica of Library Hall was built on its original site by the American Philosophical Society. Following the deaths of the two older brothers, the firm continued as Wilson, Harris and Richards. Topic: <laughs> List of buildings. Topic: <laughs> 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 Pennsylvania Topic: Pennsylvania Railroad. Pennsylvania Railroad, connecting railway bridge over Schuylkill River, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, attributed to John A. Wilson, engineer, 1866 to 67, altered 1915. Bryn Mawr Station, Bryn Mawr, PA, 1869, demolished 1963. Winwood Station, Winwood, PA, 1870. Haverford Station, Haverford, PA, C, 1870. Some sources claim it was built in 1880. Bryn Mawr Hotel, Bryn Mawr, PA, 1871, burned 1889, replaced by 1890 Frank Furness Hotel. Ardmore Station, Ardmore, PA, pre-1874, demolished. Broad Street Station, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 1881, expanded by Frank Furness, 1892 to 93, demolished 1953. Wayne Railroad Station, junction of N. Wayne Avenue and Station Road, Wayne, Pennsylvania, 1884, NRHP listed. Pennsylvania Railroad Bridge over Delaware River, Trenton, New Jersey, pre-1885, demolished. Pennsylvania Railroad Bridge over Susquehanna River, west of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, pre-1885, demolished. Train shed for expanded Broad Street Station, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 1892, burned 1923. Topic Philadelphia Buildings Reading Railroad Overpass John A. Wilson, Engineer 1871 Spring Garden Pumping Station, East River Drive, Fairmount Park Joseph M. Wilson, Architect Pre-1874, Demolished Presbyterian Hospital Joseph M. Wilson, Architect 1874, Demolished Joseph D. Potts House Alterations Joseph M. Wilson, Architect 1876 formerly WXPN-FM, and now the University of Pennsylvania Press A.J. Hallman and Company, 1222-26 Arch Street, 1881, NRHP listed. St. Andrew Episcopal Church, now St. Andrew and St. Monica Episcopal Church, Powelton Village, 1883-85, rebuilt after 1897 fire, Presbyterian home for aged couples and men, pre-1885, demolished 2006, Drexel and Company Banking House, S.E. Corner 5th and Chestnut Sts, 1885, expanded 1889, demolished 1959. 
Drexel Institute of Technology, now main building, Drexel University, 1888-91, home for indigent women, now Ralston House, 1889, Pennsylvania School for the Deaf, 7500 Germantown Avenue, 1890, NRHP listed. George W. Childs Drexel Mansion 1891, now Alpha Tau Omega Fraternity, University of Pennsylvania Reading Terminal Trainshed 1891-93, NRHP listed. Physicians and Dentists Office Building, 1830-32 Chestnut Street 1896, NRHP listed. Philadelphia Commercial Museum 1897 to 99 demolished United Gas Improvement Company Office Building 1898 Land Title Building 608 to 10 Chestnut Street 1899 Wayne Junction Station Reading Railroad 4481 Wayne Avenue 1899 to 1900 NRHP listed Topic: 1876 Centennial Exposition. Memorial Hall, Herman Schwarzman, architect; Joseph M. Wilson, engineer, 1875 to 76. Main Exhibition Building, Henry Petit, architect; Joseph M. Wilson, engineer, 1875 to 76, disassembled and sold 1881. Machinery Hall, Henry Petit, architect, Joseph M. Wilson, engineer, 1875 to 76, disassembled and sold 1881. Topic Other Pennsylvania Buildings Central Railroad of New Jersey Station, Jim Thorpe, PA, 1888, NRHP listed. State Hospital for the Insane, Norristown, PA, 1878-80, Reading Railroad Station, Lebanon, Pennsylvania, 1900, NRHP listed. Central Railroad of New Jersey Freight Station, 602 West Lackawanna Avenue, Scranton, Pennsylvania, 1891, NRHP listed. Morton Station Renovation in 1880 Ridge The design is believed to have been inspired by the Glen Mills Station, on the West Chester Railroad. Quakertown Passenger and Freight Station, Front and East Broad STs. Quakertown, PA 1889, NRHP listed. Chetwind, John H. Converse House, Lancaster Pike, Rosemont, PA, 1882-83, expanded 1887 and 1890, demolished. Converse was a partner in Baldwin Locomotive Works. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Buildings outside Pennsylvania. Topic: New Jersey. Baldwin Hotel, Beach Haven, N.J. 1883, burned 1960. Dr. Edward H. Williams House, 506 South Atlantic Avenue, Beach Haven, N.J. 1886, NRHP listed. Now Williams Cottage Inn. Converse Cottage, 504 Atlantic Avenue. Beach Haven, N.J. 1890, NRHP listed. Holy Innocence Episcopal Church, Beach Haven, N.J. 1881-82, now Long Beach Island Museum, part of Beach Haven Historic District. Tuckahoe Station, Railroad Avenue. Tuckahoe, N.J. 1894, NRHP listed. Topic: New York. Milton Railroad Station, 41 Dock Road, Milton, NY, 1883, NRHP listed. Astronomical Observatory, U.S. Military Academy, West Point, NY, pre-1885. 
St. Hubert's Inn, St. Hubert's, N.Y. 1890, now Ossible Club, Adirondack Mountain Reserve. NRHP listed. Topic Virginia Union Station Train Shed, Richmond, Virginia 1900 at Historic American Buildings Survey Leander McCormick Observatory, 600 McCormick Road. Charlottesville, VA 1884, with Warner and Swazi, Spooner, NRHP listed. Main Street Station, Richmond, Virginia 1901 as Wilson, Harris and Richards. Topic. Vermont Norman Williams Public Library, Woodstock, VT, 1883-84 Williams Science Hall, University of Vermont, Burlington, Vermont, 1894-96 Illinois Riverbank Laboratories, 1512 Batavia Avenue. Geneva, IL, 1912, NRHP listed. Geneva, Illinois, buildings in the Central Geneva Historic District and the North Geneva Historic District. Topic Other locations Baltimore and Potomac Railroad Passenger Terminal 6th Street Station, Washington, D.C. 1873-77, demolished 1908 Stewart Hall, West Virginia University Campus Morgantown, West Virginia 1900-02, NRHP listed. Elliott Building, 1401 Woodward Avenue. Detroit, Me 1894, building in the Lower Woodward Avenue Historic District. <laughs>